Let's say you have a data set with a number of tasks depending on each other and they are scheduled back to back. Manually keeping track of days and tasks might be a hassle for you. Do you know Excel can allow you a network diagram for such cases. It gets updated as the entries as well. Hello there, this is Farih Hatulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VB related answers. Here is a data set with 8 tasks with their label and duration value. The predecessor column is the label entries which represent the tasks required to be done before the start of respective tasks. Using this data set, we will learn how to create a network diagram in Excel. We will use Excel 365 to discuss 4 steps through the clip. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Now what is network diagram? The network diagram is a chart with some boxes and arrows. Here the boxes represent the activities performed and arrows show the sequence one after another according to a pre-developed schedule. You can also find whether it was done early or late from a single network diagram. Now there are two types of network diagrams in Excel. One is arrow diagram method. This type of diagram depicts terminal activities through arrows. Here the length of the arrow defines the duration of the activity. The precedences are represented by some circles that are connected with those arrows. On the other hand, precedence diagram methods or PDM is more efficient in project management. Here the activities shown in boxes are referred to as nodes. They are interconnected with arrows. The arrows define the start and end of each activity. The main advantage of PDM is it helps to show the internal correlation between several activities using four combinations using finish and start. In a different worksheet named Network Diagram, let's select cell range B4 to F5. Now from the Home tab, under the font group, select the border drop down. Now choose all borders and take border outside borders. Now merge C4 to C5 from the alignment group using merge and center. Now copy it using Ctrl C and paste it in D4 using Ctrl V and F4. Escape. In B4, we will Enter the value of days if the task started early, which is early start, ES. In B5, EF, which is for early finish. And in E4, late start, LS. And in E5, LF, late finish. In C4, let's add label, where we will add the labels we discussed within our activity schedule worksheet. Here, description. And finally, days. Now, since it's inconvenient to watch, let's control to select all these merged cells and go to wrap text. And let's change the center alignment. Now we can see it easily. Now we will insert required number of activity list. Let's copy the range of B4 to F5 using control C and paste it in B6 using Ctrl V. Now in C6, let's type a formula so that we get reference from activity schedule. Go to the worksheet and select B5 where we have the label for our first task. Enter. Now copy the cell, Ctrl C and paste it in D6 using Ctrl V and F6. Now we can see that we are getting the description and days required for our first task. Now let's copy B6 to F7, Ctrl C to copy. Now paste it in G6 using Ctrl V. Now we can see that the references are changed but the values are not here. We have to change these references. Delete and type the formula again equals go to activity schedule and choose B6 for the second label. Enter. Now let's copy it again and paste it using Ctrl V in I6 and K6. Now we can see that our first task and second task is added here. 
Now select B6 to K7 and use fill handle to drag it till K13. And we can see all the 8 tasks are added along with their label, description and days according to their corresponding references from our source worksheet. Now we will start to create our network diagram in Excel. Now choose column L and from the view tab, let's look into the window group and click on free Spains drop down, free Spains. Now we can notice a vertical line beside L column. It freezes the columns from A to K. Now if we scroll our sheet to left and right, we can see all the columns within the right of this vertical line moves but column A to K fixed. Now select the first activity list located in cell range B6 to F7. Copy it using Ctrl C. Now click on Q2. Now let's go to home tab and from the clipboard group click on paste drop down. Here choose linked picture. Follow the similar process for each of these activities. Now we will connect them using arrows according to their predecessors. From the insert tab, illustrations group, click on shapes drop down. Let's use arrows. Task C depends on task A. Now let's copy the shape so that we can use them for all the scenarios. Now let's remove the unrequired arrows that we had copied earlier using delete key. Now we can see that our tasks depend on each other. So task B, C, D depends on task A and task E depends on B, C whereas F depends on B, C and D and G task can be completed right after completing F and after task E and G are done we can move on to task H. Now we can say that this Network diagram will be updated as we change or update our source worksheet. Let's say task C has 12 days according to required amount of time to complete. Now let's change task C from 12 to 14. And now we can see that our task is already changed within the network diagram to 14. Now let's say approval of proposal which is our task A took 7 days to finish as scheduled. Let's add 7 on EF which is cell B7. Now task B can start right after we complete task A. So early starting of B will depend on the early finish of A. So let's type equals B7. Enter. Now in G7 we are going to have the total days to finish A and B. So let's try a formula with some function tab to add number 1 as our early starting of task B and number 2 as in the required day we want. Closing parenthesis enter. Now we can see that it takes 17 days to complete both A and B tasks and we can see that within our network diagram the values are updated as well. Now we will learn how to create a network flowchart in Excel. Following our same data set, if we create a flowchart, it won't have the day's values, but we get a general idea. Go to Insert tab and from the illustrations group, select the shapes drop down and let's go along with rectangles with rounded corners. Let's add it here. From the shape format tab that we got right after inserting our shape, go to shape styles group and let's go along with this shape. From the shape outline, let's choose no outline and let's type here start. Let's change the formatting of the text from the home tab to bold, center and middle aligned and let's increase the font size to 12. There we are. Now let's copy it using control shift key to the end and right end here. Now let's add different shapes for each of our eight tasks from the insert tab from the illustrations group shapes. Let's choose rectangles. Let's format it from the shape format tab and shape styles group 
to this one shape outline to be no outline and let's type here approval of proposal let's change the formatting from home tab under font group to bold increase font to 12 and from the alignment group center and middle aligned now repeat the process for all of them here we have added our task names and now we will insert arrows to add all of them and connect them according to our workflow from the insert tab to illustrations group shapes drop down choose arrow and let's copy it using Control shift key our final output looks like this using this elaborate steps you can easily create a network diagram in excel you can practice this with the help of the excel file in the description box below let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section share your suggestions and feedback as well you can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share this video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.